Welcome to day 55. Today we will pray with paragraphs 2738 through 2741. How is our prayer efficacious? The revelation of prayer in the economy of salvation teaches us that faith rests on God's actions in history. Our filial trust is enkindled by his supreme act, the passion and resurrection of his son. Christian prayer is cooperation with his providence, his plan of love for men. For St. Paul, this trust is bold, founded on the prayer of the Spirit in us and on the faithful love of the Father who has given us his only Son. Transformation of the praying heart is the first response to our petition. The prayer of Jesus makes Christian prayer an efficacious petition. He is the model. He prays in us and with us. Since the heart of the Son seeks only what pleases the Father, how could the prayer of the children of adoption be centered on the gifts rather than the giver? Jesus also prays for us in our place and on our behalf. All our petitions were gathered up once for all in his cry on the cross and in his resurrection heard by the Father. This is why he never ceases to intercede for us with the Father. If our prayer is resolutely united with that of Jesus, in trust and boldness as children, we obtain all that we ask in his name, even more than any particular thing, the Holy Spirit himself who contains all gifts.